Hello, everybody. Um, a long time ago, when I first started making videos on this channel, um, I had a video about how to make uh, graphs in Excel. Uh, and today, I just wanted to go through and uh, teach you how to do a similar thing in Google Sheets, uh, which is slightly different because, you know, why wouldn't it be similar? So as you can see here, I've got this uh, nice Google Sheet here um, that we're going to be working on. And we're going to give it a name here real quick. How to graph in Google Sheets. There we go. So now we're going to be graphing in Google Sheets. And so the first thing we're going to need is some data. So what we're going to do is we're just going to graph something simple. We're going to try to make a basic line chart. So we could do something like... <clears throat> Number of hours making ah, videos, hours of sleep. There we go. That's something you could definitely has a correlation, not a causation, right? So we can make uh, just a really simple thing here. We don't need to have too many data points. So we'll say, let's say number of hours making videos, we'll go to 2.5, Okay. And hours of sleep in that same day, we'll say eight, 7.8. For uh, let's see here, nine, uh, nine, six, uh, six. There we go. All right, so we've got our data now. Um, the number of hours we make, spend making videos a day, and then the hours of sleep we get that night. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all that. And then in Google Slides, you want to go over, or in Google Sheets, you want to go over to Insert, and then you're going to go down to Chart. So you get Insert and then Chart, and then a box should pop up. There we go. Here's our box. This is our scatter chart. As you can see, we've got our hours of sleep over here on the y-axis, our number of hours making videos on the bottom. Now, as you can see, they're already labeled, and that's because I had... The labels on top here if you just have data and you don't put those in you can add them in later by clicking in these areas and you can type in uh, what your labels are going to be so we're going to quickly um, change the title of our graph here we're going to say of video creation sleep <coughs> There we go. That's a really good uh, descriptive title. And now we're going to click back on, on this. Um, and we're going to need to do some editing. So when you want to edit, there's these three dots up on the corner. And you just hit edit chart. And then our little chart editor will pop up on the side here, which is good. So now we've got lots of awesome stuff here. We've got our data all plotted out here. But what we want is we want to make sure we can do other things with it. First of all, you can change the chart type here. Our suggestion one was, of course, the scatter chart, which is what we were going for, but they have other types as well, right? You can make pie charts, bar graphs, whatever, whatever you want. We're going to stick with scatter. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to go over here to customize. And in customize, we can change all sorts of different things, like our chart style, so we can change the color of everything, right? Um, so we're going to make our, our chart color match what our thing was. Um, you can also change our axis titles. So we've got, did that change back? I don't like that. Effect of sleep, or effect, uh, effect of video creation on sleep. There we go. There's our, there's our title that we had. That's good. Uh, we can go to series. This is one of the more important things. Um, <clears throat> we can change the color of our dots. So we're going to keep it at the color that it is. Um, but we can we can change all of that stuff. And then more importantly, down here is something that you're going to want to to see here. We can add certain things here. One thing that we need might need to know uh, is a trend line. So that shows us right that we have a linear trend going downwards as we make more videos. We sleep less. 
Um, so that's something that you might want to do. You can change its opacity, 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 whatever, and thickness. Um, so like for here, it's two pixels. I can make it eight. Now it's really thick. See, and I can make it less opaque. Now it's a solid line. We'll switch it back to opaque. There we go. Um, so you can choose change things like that. If there's a trend line, you can also have the R2 shown on the map, which is important. That's an important thing for the thing. So because it's close to one, that shows that our data shows almost a true linear trend here, which is good. Um, I may or may not have picked the numbers on purpose like that, right? So that we have a nice trend line. Um, so we got all that going. We could also put data labels on that puts little numbers above it so you know exactly what it is. You don't have to do that, but it's just something nice to do. And then you could also put in error bars um, so you can show how how much room for error the, the, graph, the line has that you've created with your graph. Um, something you can think about. And then of course you can also add uh, format your legend and it's positioned here. You can have it auto positioned or you can move it over. So like you could for instance, move it over to the right here. Um, which is what a lot of graphs do they have it on the right i actually kind of liked that it was on the top there so i'm going to stick it on auto because this is this is really nice the way it is it makes your graph nice and big um so that's nice you can change the text color and all that stuff so you can make it as fancy as you want and then you could talk about the you could actually change the axes so you can um you can um, put a minimum and a maximum for instance if you wanted to so for instance for our we're on the horizontal one how I don't want as much. Where's my here we go vertical axis? So over here, um, I can put a minimum value here, and so since we don't get further below four, I could put my minimum at three point five. So now my graph is a little bit more compact, um, so that's pretty nice. I could set a max if I wanted to, um, but so you can kind of format it. So like for instance, if I really wanted to be sneaky. I could say, okay, I want my minimum to be five, right? And now my line looks a lot different than it did. And so you can you can twist your data, I guess, if that's something you're looking to. Not that you should. You should never twist your data. Making data misleading is bad. Um, but yeah, so there's lots of different things you can do in here. Um, and now, just because I, I enjoy messing with stuff, we're going to just change around the colors a little bit, make it fun. Um, so let's see here. We can make uh, we can make our background purple. We can make that chart background orange. Um, we can change the the color of the text. See, we can do all sorts of fun things with. Um, with this so they they do make it i'd say this is relatively easy to mess around with oh cool <laughs> how do i change the label though treat labels as text no nope, i didn't want that do, do, do. Mm -hmm. hmm. So it seems I don't know everything, obviously. Um, let's change our color here. We'll make that orange. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Mm -hmm. I can change these two. We can make them, uh, let's say, them stars. There we go. So there's all sorts of fun stuff that you can do um, to, to mess with um, here on oh, our line color. We need that to be different. Let's go with green. I guess slightly less opaque. So yeah, you can do all sorts of fun stuff with it. Um, <clears throat> make it um, make it fun. There we go. Awesome. So there's there's all sorts of stuff you can do, um, and you can use this for your science um, experimentation, right? You can use this for your science labs. You can use this in math if you have to make graphs. Um, you can use it if you're showing data in like a history or social studies thing um, or economics or really anything. This is a, a useful skill. If you don't have access to the Microsoft Office, um, Google Sheets is free uh, as long as you have a Gmail and Gmail accounts are free as well. So this is a valuable tool for people who don't have access to the, um, to the Microsoft Office suite. <laughs> Yeah, 
is a sweet graph. I love it. Oh, here it is. The title. Aha, aha. Okay, so here's where you can change the axes. There we go. <laughs> Take that. All right, that's a beautiful graph right there. I'm glad we made it together. I hope this was informative and helped you uh, understand how you can graph using Google Sheets. Um, if you have any questions, drop a comment, and I'm sure I can answer questions for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye.